to welcome to video 9 I'm gonna slow down, I'm gonna make this buffer smaller and I'm gonna remove these things we just did and revert everything back to normal now there's one thing I wanna do which is depending on the light attack itself to perform itself so in my scenario we're gonna add an input here it's gonna be highest priority or last register doesn't matter let's go with attack and I'm gonna try to perform the light attack itself rather than depending on animation within an animation within an animation because sometimes you can lose yourself between it I gave you the option or the ability to do something like that but I would say stick to a specific standard so my standard, me, myself let the ab light attack ability itself run itself or any kind of ability to, to that has a sequential moves or montages we did demonstrate before that the, uh, the light attack itself has sequential choosing of montages if you remember this part right here so in my case if I hold attack and then at the very end of the notify this tries to perform it should do the job perfectly fine and that's what we want so you can go as many as you want in this data asset go as many as 10, 9, uh, 10 20, 30 whatever you like no problem even though that's not a, a very realistic number but this is how I would use buffer in my case let's discuss another useful thing which is rotating while you're doing an attack so for example if I try to attack and then hold S while doing it you see the character is still stuck in place and it doesn't do it doesn't rotate let's say I want to target somebody I just ignore the animation for now and while attacking I want it to rotate to that character do you see right now if I click attack I'm completely ignoring who I'm targeting so in that case let's add some kind of rotation while attacking is being performed there's a notify for this called standard tempest standard rotation now this takes uh, takes multiple properties when it comes to rotation and what do I mean by properties in this case that's a big of a bit of a new term now completely ignore best rotation property and let's just focus on the rest because this is the parent of everything the rest are types of rotation that you want to perform note here it will try to perform all of them so for example if you have two of those it will try to do all of them so you can't rotate in two different you know methodologies at the same time that's why there has to be a condition there and they do have conditions so for example let's take input direction and let's take a look at that so rotate just the same name put it in the plugins rotate to input direction and we have it right there this has a function get can rotate and one of the functions is it being controlled by a player that's one condition the second one targeting component being valid so that means it's here a third condition would be from the targeting component active targeting object and the targeted component so for example what this means uh, sorry not for example what this essentially means is I don't have anything targeted so when I target somebody you'll see a dot in the middle you see it and my camera is actually locked on on them this lock on with the camera means I'm actually locked on so this one of the third, the third condition here being is me not targeting anybody so input will not run it will try sorry when, when when you do something like this it will for the length of this notify it will try to run this however the function here will stop it from running because it doesn't proceed with the uh, with the with the condition it has so in our case let's put input direction as one thing and the second one will be a targeted actor okay what about targeted actor in this case targeted actor has which conditions first controlled by a player the second one uh, having a targeted component and actually targeting somebody so here me targeting somebody here I'm not targeting anyone so we have two of them either you target and the character rotates to them or you don't target anybody and you rotate in the input direction that you have there's a little bit more to this if you expand on those it has values and, and things about it 
now in our case right here uh, if we go to this any variable that you add it will automatically show on the other side so let me add a boolean here so whatever use you could use this for and if you go here you see my boolean uh, it was just added right there so it's very dynamic so you can create as much as you like any conditions as you want if you don't like the way this is rotating and you don't want to use lerp for example duplicate add this change whatever you like and assign this class in the uh, uh, in the montage that you want to use it for so let's demonstrate this if i attack and hold s you see what happened attack and hold s i'm rotating backwards now if I go to this SAI, I rotate backward like this first and then target. If I try to attack, it rotates towards him. See that? The rotation is a bit too sharp. It's because the value is a bit too high. So if you lower it down, like 0 0.05, for example, equip, target, attack. Now I'm rotating more smoothly. Again, it will depend on the montage. Usually, when you want to use this, you would want to do it while the character is actually moving. So, somewhere like this. And it will stop somewhere right here. Let me increase this to 0.1. And let's try this part. Face backward. Do attack. Something like this. This will conclude the rotation while you're doing attacks. In the next video, we'll focus on the uh, the actual movement when I'm actually targeting somebody, and this this is not really good shape for a game. So let's fix this part, and we'll take it from the next one. See you guys in the next one.